All right, Joe, we're out in the woods again today having another adventure. Uh, when I say woods, I don't know about these woods, Joe. <laughs> well, I don't really like going to the woods this time of year, but I had to check this area out. This is where a lot of camps were right in here, and um, we got to check it out right now. It looks like I could see some earthworks in the back back here. I'm not sure. We'll check it out right now. Stay tuned. Here we go. Well, it's a little cool today, so most of the reptiles are in, but we do have some coming out right here. Here's old Mr. Turtle right here. He's closed up. There <laughs> yeah. he is right He's in, in there. there he just Check him out. Hey, bud. On. What's up? Well, I hope your friends aren't out. The snakes. <laughs> we don't want to see them, but you're okay. We can deal with you, but we can't deal with them snakes. All right, we're going to go in here and hit a little hill in here that could have some activity all through these woods. I mean, everywhere. So we're going to hit the, this little hillside right here. Boy, that's something we hate to see right there, isn't it? Man, we can't clean all that up, brother. Look at the trash people throw out. It's terrible. All right, we're going to keep going down the line here. All right, we're right where the New York Cavalry camped at, but we can't find anything. Now, y'all saw all the trash in the area, so I think it's just loaded with trash, tires, all kind of stuff. I know it's here. We might have come back here in the wintertime, too, with our waders on getting the water here. So Anyway, we're going to head out to another spot right now. Here we go. Stay tuned. All right, we moved on to site two, and our first find here is a stinking Lincoln. But there was actually a Civil War fort right where I'm sitting right here, and the New York Cavalry was stationed not far away, so I can't imagine us not finding something, but that's how it goes sometimes. You just never know. Well, it's not a stinking Lincoln anyway. It looks like it's going to be a dime. I wonder how old it is. I can't see the date on it, but it could be silver in here too. That's, that's for sure. All right, let's keep looking. All right, Joe's got a little something different. What you got, man? It is a watch. An old watch, man. It rang up like silver. I don't know if it is man. or isn't. But... Yeah, I don't think that's silver. No, there. Just probably that not. circle stainless steel. That circle gave you that great number. Yep. Somebody's old watch. All right, man. Let's keep hunting. Yeah, that's Joe's it. way ahead of me on that, man. Four quarter, five quarters. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five and quarter, bunch of dimes. Two, three, four dimes. Hold on. Four dimes and two pennies. 67, I think. Good man. job, man. <laughs> All right. We're going to get out of here in just a little bit, though. He stopped digging pennies, too. So uh, this place is loaded with change. But we don't want to dig change all day long. We're going to try to go somewhere else and try something else. Stay tuned. All right. We're at location number three. And this area has been known to have some old stuff, some reals. And it has been known to have a lot of clads. So a lot of uh, recent activity here. And gold maybe so day two we're gonna hit it up right now here we go well no shortage of gray matter down here a lot of fishing getting done but this area right here is definitely an old area civil war and colonial so we got possibilities here all right one thing i like about this area you can see that the clay is not very deep underneath there that i think that's a uh, clay that's been here for a long time and a little bit of sand on top this is slowly getting eaten away in here but anything good it should be on top actually i just dug a little pop top here but Anyway, that's, uh, that's a good sign when you get uh, that clay in there. You don't have to dig very deep a lot of time. I like when I'm working around clay. Yeah, but You can see it used to be some kind of old uh, uh, break order or something in here. It looks pretty old. Anyway, we'll keep working down the shoreline here and see what we can come up with. All right, we're still digging lead. But look at that right there. Check this out right here. That is an old brick right there. Sweet. Love seeing an old brick down here by the water. Love it. All right, let's keep digging. All right, this is a promising sign. It just broke when I did it, but it's an old piece of leather rivets. You see us find these in the fields all the time. I like it right there. That could easily be some Civil War stuff right there. I like that right there. All right, let's bag them up. Keep looking. All right, nothing great by the water. We're hitting the field now. Back out here and uh, see what we can find. Um, uh, old Joe hit that one uh, piece of jewelry right off the bat. And uh, since then, we really just coins and just uh, jump. So keep trying, though. We're not giving up. We don't give up easy. Let's do it. First high tone in this field. That could be a quarter right there. All right, we'll take it. Could be a silver ring, too. This is where a lot of uh, stuff like that could be, too. All right, we're digging this 30. See what we got here. Hopefully, it's going to be either silver or quarter, one or the other. All right, let's do it. Here we go. All right, where did it go? That was a good signal, too. It ain't going. 
Unless it went deeper in the hole here. I'm not even hearing it now. Yep, it's down here. All the way in the bottom, too. I mean, way down deep. Let's see what we got. Man, I can't believe that thing's that deep. I think we got it in my hand. And there's a corner. Awesome. All right, we like digging them. I don't mind digging those. Yeah, it's not silver, but we'll take it. Well, that's a little coin spill in this hole. My last quart out of here, I got 36 cents out of one hole. That's pretty good. I like that. I like we get multiple coins in one hole here. No silver, though, man. I'm looking for that silver is what I want. All right, let's keep digging. Here we go. Yeah. All right, check it out. I see something shiny in the dirt here, and I swear, I think it's the opposite earring that my buddy Joe found. I swear I think it might be. I get too close to you, but there you go. It is, man. Look at what that. What are the odds of that, man? Look at that. They match up. What are the A odds? matching pair, baby. <laughs> man, how about that? <laughs> matching pairs. Whoever lost them, lost them both right in this area, and we found them both. We returned them. Who knew who it was, but I'm going to find out. I don't think it's, uh, I think it's probably a bling, but Anyway, got some got a little jewelry anyway. I right, we're at a new location, probably our last location, and uh, <clears throat> I got a good feeling about this spot. I think it's some old colonial stuff in here, but we'll check it out right now. Let's do it. Here we go. All right, we got something round in the dirt here. Let's see what we got here. It's not a coin, that's for sure. If it's a button, it's a pretty button. It is a button. Check it out. And it is a old colonial button, it looks like. That has got some design on it. All right, we're going to clean that up and check it out. Sweet. All right, I just had a signal. It was blowing my ears off. But it was jumping around 23 to 32 all over. And I see, I thought I was looking for a can. I just knew it was a can. Not even sure it was a can, but it's not a can. I saw something around. And I, I see some shiny on it right there. Let's check it out. I'm not sure. It looks like a watch. I don't know what kind it is. Oh, that, that shiny with bubbles in it. I thought that was some kind of some kind of uh, stuff. Timex takes a licking and stops. <laughs> this one stops. This one took a licking and stopped. Man, oh man, oh man. All right. Well, one way I thought when I saw that right there, I thought I had some diamonds on something, but it was just water crystals. All right, let's keep digging. Uh-oh, Joe says he's got some silver in the hole. What you got, Joe? Come on, don't tell me that. Holy smoke! A mark! Put it there, brother. Oh, we can't do no, that. No, we can't do that. Right. We can't do that. We can't do yeah. that. Okay, nice. Silver, baby. Nice one! Yeah. Woo! Solid 27. All right, nice one, man. That's first silver of the day right yes, there. Sir. That's the winner of the day so far. Man, we're getting ready to leave out here. Maybe we should stay a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, man. I mean, that's holy that smoke. Deep either. All right, let's keep digging. Here we go. All right, we got another little relic coming out right here. Check it out. D buckle. That's not modern, that's for sure. That's pretty cool right there. All right, let's bag it up. Well, Joe and I've been saying we know it's a lot of rings and all in this in here, but I just dug a ring. I don't think it's gonna be gold, but it is a ring. That's silver. Check it out. I don't know. Well, it could be. That's silver. I don't know, man. Could be a silver ring. Oh, it could That's be. Silver. That could be a silver ring right there. Awesome! I hope I got silver today, baby. It is looking silver. I think I'm seeing copper coming through, man. I think it's going to be a uh, silver plate is what I'm thinking. But cool, though. Got a ring. I like it. All right, we're still digging digging some relics up. Let's keep doing it. I think we'll call that a wrap. Uh, we did get a lot of clad. Uh, got a couple of um, colonial relics. And my boy got silver. Got silver, baby. Hey, anytime you get silver, it's a good day. Even if it's modern silver. The, well, it's not, that's not modern. 1941. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, pretty old, 80 yeah. years old. So. World War II silver. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we're going to get home, clean everything up. I got a couple things I need to clean up. And... Uh, you're going to send a picture of everything. Yeah, and, I got a few dollars in clad. And uh, I got a matching earring. I'll show you that yeah. when we get home. I'm clean them both up so you can check them out. All right, stay tuned. We'll check it out. 
It was a beautiful day out there today. Uh, Joe and I hit about three or four spots there, and uh, we didn't do too bad. Uh, I, was, I was pretty happy with what we did, uh, but Joe got silver. Man, he got me today on that silver, and he got more clad than I got. Uh, let me show a picture of his clad right here. $4.07. Not bad. And a picture of his dime right there. He did good. And he also got one earring. And it, it, I'll tell you about that story in just a second when I show you mine. It's it, kind of interesting. But uh, we hit a multiple kind of areas. Um, woods area, field area, the, the shoreline area. We're all over the place today. But uh, let me show you some of the finds I got right here. Alright, next shoreline area. I definitely was hitting the, the gray matter. Now a little bit had to save those for our lead uh, weights for our diving. 150 caliber shell there. Y'all saw me dig this watch here. I thought I had some, when I first saw it in there, I saw that like that, and I thought it was diamonds on something, but it was just water droplets on there. That's, I had me going right there at first. Some other junk there. Uh, clad, I think, uh, close to $4 in clad. Joe got me on the clad. He got, I got just before four, he got a little bit over four, so. Uh, I did dig one D buckle right here. And that was dug right close to, not too far away from this button over here. I'm going to show you just a second. I dug three of these on the water edge. These are, you see we dig those things in the field all the time, but there's nothing left of them. This has still got some kind of leather still built into it right there. Uh, but anyway, it's some kind of pouch or something right there. So I was kind of, I like seeing that, but I didn't find anything else around it. I had dug bullets not too far from here, so... I know civil war activity there, but just didn't um, did, didn't didn't find anything. But this button in it, which could be something. Um, well, let's talk about the button first. Uh, you can see the eagle on. I'll put a picture up there. It does have an eagle, a star on it, but it's got some letters on. I think it, N H S is what I could see on it. I, I looked up. I could not find a civil war button that had letters on it, on the edges like that. So anybody has any idea what that might be? Let me know. It does not have the the round thing above his head like you see in World War One and Two, so I, I don't think it's that, but I don't have a clue what it is. So anybody got any clue on that one, please let me know. I did dig a ring, and I should put a picture up there. I think it's 14 GFE or something. Uh, GE Gold Electroplated, anyway. That's where it is. It, it, you can see it inside. You still see some of the gold in it, but it's just electroplated gold. So, But that's pretty nice. I mean, it's nice finding ring. I like finding rings, even though they aren't turn out to be a whole lot but kind of need to find them there sometime and now the earrings joe stepped out of the truck did that one spot first target dug that right there right out of the truck we thought it could be some silver but i don't think it is i don't see anything written on back but then after, at the end we're coming back to the truck i was coming up to it i dug one and it's the exact same replica of that one isn't that amazing now who would have thought that that person must have lost them within five feet of each other and we both dug one one each side that's pretty cool right there that's pretty neat right there but look at that we did pretty good i had to give it to joe today for the silver i think the silver wins the case out of everything ring button i take the silver all day long so good job joe all right well uh we did a good job of cleaning up some clad out of there and uh getting some lead out of the out of the river so that's always good um, but anyway, appreciate everybody coming along. Uh, don't forget to click like, comment below, share. Subscribe to the Gig Master. You never know where we're going next. See you on the next adventure.